Holy shit, a lot of talent in this room. I'm uh, here to put a stop to that train. Um, it's actually my first time doing this, so, um, <clears throat> so if I, you know, probably gonna sweat a little bit, nervous fumbling about, you know, some mic noises, and hopefully at least I get a couple of laughs out of you guys, kind of like the expectations of the first times I had sex. So, uh, but no, really, like if I, I am kind of nervous and if I, you know, the anxiety takes over and I pass out and die right here in front of all of you tonight, don't worry, it's my time to go and I died doing what I love, uh, being the center of attention. I'm a middle child, older brother, you know, the golden child, younger brother, the baby, and me just trying to get attention. Uh, one time, I remember specifically from my youth, uh, nobody was paying attention to me, so I decided to go into the kitchen table and cut my own hair, because that was a good call for nine-year-old me. And uh, anyway, I kept uh, coming up to my parents, and they still wouldn't pay attention to me, so I almost got all the way down, ended up getting a buzz cut. But um, anyway, I figured standing up here with the lights and the microphone and everything, a little healthier, um, but my hair is getting a little long, so I'm rethinking that. Um, anyway, stand-up comedy kind of seemed like a natural fit. Um, again, the attention thing, and uh, you're going to realize that after this, uh, the whole set is about me. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a theme throughout my life. But um, I'm 31 years old, so I have kind of a leg up on people trying to get into comedy and that, you know, I've already disappointed my parents to the point that I have set the bar so low I mean, they're just, they're just happy that I'm, I'm grown up and I'm out of the house, you know? Just not like for good, but like for an hour tonight while I'm here. Um, yeah, so speaking of living with my parents, I am overweight. Um, if you couldn't tell, that's, yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's I, lo I love food, right? Who doesn't? We all eat food multiple times a day, every single day. Yeah, yeah that's right. I love frozen food, though. It's so convenient. Right? I know it's not very good for you, but it's, it's always right there. You open up the freezer and there it is, just a big old ice cream cake, ready to go for lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever you got. No, I'm just kidding. Not really. Um, no, it's more like, you know, you get the prepackaged stuff, like you get the uh, frozen chicken patties or whatever, but I'm so frustrated because the packaging, right? The first time you open it, it's supposed to be resealable, but then the first time you open it, if you, if you fuck it up, then it's ruined the whole time. You gotta put it in another bag, otherwise you're gonna lose freshness. And when you're eating frozen chicken patties, your number one concern is freshness. No, so, um, you know, I, I, it amazes me, you know, here in the, in the States, the stuff we complain about. Third world countries, they're, they're just looking for food. And we have boxes in a room in our house. We have one box that we put food in to keep it cold. And then we take it from that box, put it in another box to heat it up. And as, I, as far as I understand it, those boxes are both powered by lightning somehow. I don't really know. And, uh, you know, third world countries, they're just trying to get the food in the first place. And we're over here, you know, bitching about Wi-Fi. But, you know, to be fair, those kids in the third world countries don't know how bullshit the Wi-Fi is upstairs in my house. All right, thank you. That's all I got for tonight. Thank you very much. Yeah.